Hi, good evening everyone. I am Anuja Tayal, a PhD student at UIC. It is my pleasure to introduce a paper, Dynamic Context for Generating Suggestion Questions in a RAG-based conversational systems. This work is a joint work with PNG company. This is the index. I'll go through them one by one. First, the question arises. Why do we need suggestion questions? Suppose you are interacting, interacting with a RAG-based infant care conversational system and ask a question. What is sleep regression? It is answerable. But what about this question? What vaccinations are required for babies under six months? We don't know. What is the issue here? You, we don't know what is the scope of the system. Users often find it difficult to understand the full scope of system's capabilities. Most RAG-based conversational system simply responds to user queries. So a user has to pass a well-defined query. But if the user accidentally passes an underspecified or ambiguous query, agents are not able to detect the actual intent of the user and end up saying sorry or giving the wrong answer, which the users are tired of hearing. And even if the system do provide the correct answer, the user must again formulate an effective follow-up question. Therefore, we propose to develop a suggestion question generator to address the gap in conversational systems where her users frequently lack awareness of the system's limitations. We formulate the problem of suggestion question generator in low resource settings, which can be applied across various data sets without the need of fine tuning. And we use in-context learning to do so. Using the suggestion question generator will improve the overall user experience reduce the frequency of apologetic responses, and by providing these questions, users are alleviated from the task of question formulation. So our framework involves two key steps. First, we have to identify the pertinent passages as the answer to the query hinges on these passages. This we call as dynamically retrieved context. And the second, we have to select contextually relevant triplets from the data set in the form of question, answer, suggestion questions. These triplets are crucial for accommodating the varied formats and structures that different questions may necessitate. This we call as dynamic few short examples. And we select these dynamic retrieved context and examples using the initial query. Finally, the suggestion questions are generating by combining these dynamically retrieved context and dynamic few short examples, which we call as dynamic context. Now, let us see how to generate these dynamic examples and context. To do so, let's take a step back and see current prompting approach. In zero shot prompting, the instruction, also known as the prompt, is passed through an LLM, such as GPT Claude Lama. But we could also pass examples with the instruction called few shot approach. These examples could also be static, meaning we pass the same set of examples with each query, but these examples can also be dynamic with each user query. But how do we create these dynamic examples? This is where we take the help of retrieval augmented generation or RAG. The set of queries from the question-answer-suggestion-question triplets of the examples 
are embedded through the OpenAI embeddings, which are stored in a vector DB. Then based on the user query, we use cosine similarity to rank and retrieve the relevant queries. This is similar to what the keynote speaker in the morning, Yong Yu, explained in his slides. And in a similar way, we can also select dynamic contexts. We do so because we want the answer to be generated only by the context present. Now, let us combine the two and see them in action. So for a given query, what is sleep regression? First, we generate a set of similar questions using the initial query and the set of questions. To each of these questions, we append the matching context and suggestion questions. These together will constitute the examples. And as these examples are dynamic, we call these dynamic short examples. Similarly, we match the query with the list of the context and retrieve top four contexts. The examples along with the context are passed to the LM to generate the suggestion questions. And in total, we generate three different suggestion questions. Before going through the final prompt, let us look into the data set used. Due to the absence of publicly available data sets specifically designed for suggestion question generator tasks, we employed 228 blog posts from Pampers Baby Sleep Coach as a practical demonstration. The blog post headlines were treated as queries, while the content of the post as the answers to those queries. For 35 of these posts, we manually annotated the suggestion questions aiming to exemplify the types of questions users might ask and which could be answered by the provided context. The post headlines from these 35 examples, along with the context and the suggestion question, form the basis of dynamic examples. And this is the final prompt. You can see that there are four parts of the prompt. First is the instruction. Then um, there are three dynamic question answer suggestion question triplets. Then is the query and then the four dynamic context. In this instruction, you can see that we had to specifically prompt the LM to remember that the age of baby should in the suggestion question should be the same as in query because when handling queries related to a baby's age, for example, 13 years old or four months old, both ChatGPT and GPT-4 displayed confusion over baby's age and at times illustrating the difficulty in grasping the numerical distinction. I'll give an example of this later. To ensure a Thorough analysis of the performance, we evaluated our approach through a variety of assessment techniques, including a manual evaluation, a comparative analysis, a preference benchmarking, and a, an ablation study. To do the manual evaluation, we created a set of 48 question answer suggestion question triplets. We assessed the correctness, relevance, and soundness of the generated questions. For this, ChatGPT, Claude 2, and GPT-4 were used for the evaluation, and they correctly generated 44, 44, and 46 sample, respectively. ChatGPT and GPT-4 errors were related to baby's age, whereas Claude 2 did not make any age-related errors. While plot 2 was not able to formulate questions that aligned with the provided context. So let us see an example. For the query, my 15 month old is very thin. How much should she weigh? You can see that plot 2 output 
was what is the average weight gain per week for a 15 month old baby but GPT-4 output was can you tell me how frequently a one month old baby should be fed. You can see that in GPT-4 output the baby's age is different from the query. We also compared our dynamic context approach with zero shot, few shot and dynamic few shot. In zero shot, when the context was also passed with the instruction, Claude 2 on, generated only 30 correct questions compared to 35 for ChatGPT and 43 for GPT-4 out of the 48 samples. Claude 2 notably struggled, often unable to utilize the provided context effectively, and often imagining itself as a baby. The few short approach showed an overall improvement in performance. However, the questions generated replicated the structure of the examples provided. The dynamic few short approach aimed at introducing a variety of question types and structures, sig structures and it significantly improved the quality of the questions generated, but it still lacked the dynamic context approach. Further analysis was conducted through preference benchmarking evaluation. But what is preference benchmarking? It is a blind test where the powerful models of GPT-4 and CLOT2 acted as judges and were prompted to assess the quality of the question generated by two models, model one and model two, without knowing from which model it was generated. So the results show that CLOT2 had no preference between the models, while GPT-4 favored CLOT2's output 57% of the time over its own. Human evaluation was also employed to evaluate which output was better and uh, which showed a preference for GPT's 4 output in 43% of the cases and clogged two output in 33% of the cases and showing no preference in 24% of the cases. This evaluation suggests a close alignment with the, between the judgments of the LLMs and human evaluators. To conclude, we explored the suggestion questions to bridge the gap in users capability of understanding the uh, conversational systems. And to uh, do so, we present a development of suggestion question generator that combines a dynamic, uh, that uses dynamic context approach, which combined dynamically retrieved context and dynamic few short examples. And in future, we plan to personalize the suggestion questions based on the user history. Thank you. Any questions? And you can find the paper here.